Assalamu alaikum. <coughs> Question ya leo kutoka KCSE 2019 ni ya volume. Na volume kwenye KCSE med family utaipata kwenye topic inaitwa measurement. Tuifanye tu haraka haraka ili swali ni kama la primary lakini liko detail na linataka uzoefu. A rectangular tank measures 2.4 meet, meters long and 2 meters wide. Kwa hivyo 2.4 meters long and 2 meters wide. And 1.5 meters high. Kwa hivyo 1.5 meters high ama kwa huku pia 1.5 meters high. The tank contained some water up to a height of 0 0.45 meters. Kwa hivyo ilikuwa imedia maji paka? Hapa hivi. Imedia maji to a height of 0 0.45 meters. Tuseme labda paka hapa hivi. Huku chini kuna maji. Alafu what happened? Calculate the amount of water in liters needed to fill up the tank. Manaki ya sisi tumejaza mpaka hapa. Mbaya hapa ni ngapi? 0 0.45. Kwa hivyo height iliobaki kuja ni ngapi? Height enzima ilikuwa 1.5. Lakini sisi tumejaza mpaka 0 0.45. Kwa hivyo tuweza sema kwa mba? Remaining height is equals to 1.5 minus 0 0.45. Ambo utapata ngapi? Utapata remaining height is equals to 1.05 meters. Sasa sisi tuataka nini? Tuataka volume. Tuataka the amount of water in liters. Ya manisha tunataka volume. Na kawaida volume of a tank, kwa sababu hii ni cuboid, volume is equals to base area times height ambo itakuwa length times width alafu ndo utafanya times height na kumbuka sisi tuataka only the remaining part kwa hivyo remaining part ni hii 1.05 meters length times width times height wapi length length ni 2.4 meters na width ni 2 meters kwa hivyo itakuwa ni 2.4 times 2 Alafu times height ni 1.05. Na kumbuka yeyo ataka the amount in liters. Na hitu kimaliza hapa itakuwa ni meter times meter times meter. Itakuwa jibu liko in meters cubed ama cubic meters. Kisha kutoka cubic meter ndo tabadilisha itakuwa liters. Na kumbuka kutoka primary kwamba 1 meter cubed is equals to 1000 liters. Kwa hivyo hizi hapa tukisha maliza liters cubed, meter cubed, tutaka kubadilisha liters, tutaongeza times a thousand. Ndo itabadilika into liters. Kwa hivyo tumaliza yu araka araka 2.4 times 2 times 1.05 alafu times 1,000. Jibu litakuwa 5,040 liters. Jibu ni 5040 liters. Height ya tank enzima ilikuwa ngapi? Ilikuwa ni 2.4. Volume ya tank enzima 2.4 times 2 times 1.5 alafu mwisho times 1000. Ungepata 7200 liters. Hiyo ndio ilikuwa volume of the whole tank. Anyway, tuendele pole pole. An inlet pipe was opened and water let to flow into the tank at a rate of 10 liters per minute. After one hour, a drain pipe was opened and water allowed to flow out of the tank at a rate of 4 liters per minute. Calculate Kwanza, the height of the water in the tank after three hours. Kwa hivyo hapa tunaangalia rate of flow. Maji anaingia kiasi gani na yanatoka kiasi gani. 
Kwa hivyo lazima uielewe tanki yako vizuri. Tanki hapa kuna maji ya kuingia. Alafu huku chini kuna nini? Kuna maji ya kutoka. Na maji ya kuingia anaingia at 10 liters per second. Kila sekunde inakula 10 liters inaingia. Na ule mfereji wa kutoa unatoa at 4 liters per second. Hapa ni 10 liters na ya kutoa ni 4 liters. Lakini kabla tujaangalia hiyo sisi tutaka the height of the water in the tank after 3 hours. So tuangalie kiasi gani kiliingia kwanza tuanze na hapa. After 1 hour ndo pipe ya pili hii ya kutoa ilifunguliwa. Kwa hivyo during the first hour ilikuwa ni hii tu ya 10 liters. Kwa hivyo during the first hour itakuwa vipi? Pipe inaingia an inlet pipe at 10 liters per minute for 1 hour. Kwa hivyo itakuwa ni 10 liters alafu times 1 hour ambaye 1 hour ya badilika inakuwa ngapi? Kumbuka ni 10 liters per minute. Kwa hivyo 1 hour kita kuibadilisha minutes inakuwa times 60 minutes per hour. Hii per hour na hour itaondoka itabaki 10 liters times 60 ambayo itakuwa ngapi? 600 liters. Kumbuka ini 10 liters per minute. Per minute ya hapa na hii minute nyingine itaondoka. Tabaki tu 10 liters times 60 itakuwa 600 liters in the first hour. So after this first hour, for the other two hours, ambayo tutasema hapa ni vipi remaining, two hours, ambayo two hours ni how many minutes? Ni two times 60, which is 120 minutes. For the remaining two hours, how many liters in ingia per second? Za kuingia ni kumi, za kutoka ni nne. Kwa hivu hapa ni kama ambayo tunaongeza ngapi? 10 minus 4. Kwa hivu hapa tutafanya answer times 6 liters per minute. Minute ya hapa, kumbuka hapa ni minute, alafu hapa kuna nini? Kuna per minute. Ile per minute na minute itaondoka. Tufanya 2 times 60 times 6 liters. Jibu utapata ngapi? 2 times 60 times 6. 720 liters. 720 liters. So in the first hours you may get 600 liters and in the remaining two hours you may get 720 liters. Kwa hivu total ya three hours, 600 plus 720. 600 plus 720 liters. Amboe jibu lita kwa 1,320 liters dozi you may get. Lakini kumbuka sisi tuataka nini? Tuataka the height of the water in the tank after 3 liters. So height tutapata vipi? Tuangalie volume vizu. Nam. So in these 3 hours, tumeongeza 320 liters. In meter cube itakuwa ngapi? Uta divide by 1000 amba itakuwa? Zero itasonga, itasonga, itasonga hapa, itakuwa 1.32 meters cube, cubic meters ndo zimeongezwa. Kwa hivyo, tukitaka kujua the height of the water in the tank, kumbuka kwamba volume is equals to base area times height. Kwa hivyo, height is equals to the volume divided by the base area. Amboyo volume iko hapi? ni 1.32 meters cubed alafu divide by the area ambayo area iko wapi kumbuka base area yuku ni 2.4 times 2 kwa hivyo divide by 2.4 times 2 tuangalia hiyo itakuja ngapi 1.32 divide by brackets 2.4 times 2 hiyo ndiyo volume divide by area utapata 0 0.275 meters. Na sisi tuataka the new height of the water after 3 hours. Kumbuka is 0 0.275 ndo tumeongeza. Na the original height of the water ilikuwa ngapi? Ilikuwa 0 0.45. Kwa hivyo new height is equals to 0 
plus 0.45 ambayo utapata ngapi utapata 0.725 meters now this is the new height of the water after three hours mwisho tutaka the total time taken to fill up the tank tumefika 0.725 meters na height iliyobaki itakuwa ni ngapi kwa hivyo hapa kwanza tujue remaining height kwa sasa ni 1.5 meters minus 0.725 meters ambayo utapata ngapi 1.5 minus 0.725 utapata 0.775 So 0.775 meters ndo zimebaki kuja. Na tukibadilisha this into volume kwa sababu kumbuka time yetu ilikuwa ya uhusiana na nini? Ya uhusiana na liters per minute. Kwa hivyo hii volume hii height iliyobaki tuibadilishe into volume iliyobaki. Kwa hivyo tutasema hapa remaining volume is equals to length times width times height. Height hii hapa. Length na width mnasikumbuka? 2.4 times 2 kwa hivyo 2.4 times 2 times 0.775 alafu hii ni meters cube kuibadilisha kwa liters utafanya times 1000 jibu litakuwa ngapi 0.775 times 2 times 2.4 alafu times 1000 jibu litakuwa 3720 liters 3720 liters hizi ndo zimebaki kuja na rate of flow iko wapi wakumbuka hapa sasa hii rate of flow ni 10 liters za kuingia 4 liters za kutoka kwa sababu mfereji wa kutoa pia ushafunguliwa so 10 minus 4 utapata 6 liters kwa hivyo tutasema remaining time is equals to 3720 liters divide by 6 liters per minute utapata 620 minutes ukibadilisha kwa hours hii itakuwa ngapi uta divide by 60 ambayo itakuwa ni 6 hours and 20 minutes sawa sawa hii ndo time iliyobaki kujaza na paka sasa tumetumia how many liters tumetumia how much time tumetumia 3 hours kwa hivyo tukitaka the total time taken to fill up the tank utachukua 620 alafu ta add plus 3 hours kwa hivyo tutasema the total time taken is equals to 20 na 6 plus 3 ni 9 kwa hivyo itakuwa 9 hours and 20 minutes jibu litakuwa 9 hours and 20 minutes ama 20 divided by 60 utapata 1 over 3 ambayo itamaanisha ni 9 and 1 over 3 hours hiyo ndo sahi tumeifanya kwa ufupi umeona ni swali la primary lakini lataka makini kama hauna makini utasahau umejaza miaji, maji kiasi gani na umetoa kiasi gani so please makinika tafuta blank paper ilikuwa ndo swali la kwanza ili section 2 lipige 10 marks uhakikishe uko sawa kama umeelewa vizuri jaribu mifano mingine asante